Hey guys, we're going to be going back to Nyan Beast for another quick clear that can either be used to farm red pearls or to just advance your way through the ranks to get a level 99 clear. Uh, this is for those of you that did not pull on Chow. Uh, this is going to be a two turn clear, so it's actually a lot quicker and simpler than the Chow farming clear that I did earlier. So this is going to rely on the fact that, like old school, um, evokers ignore most bosses mitigations including Nyan Beast mitigation so we're gonna get a two turn clear using Luna Freya on level 99 let's go ahead and show this I know this does require some specific units for example um, Nicole Yuna and uh, Braska are sort of important for this but um, if you have the units you know you can do it Okay, so we're going to use Nicole's Shifted LB for LB Damage Boost, Stat Boost, and Water Amplify. We're going to use Summoner Yuna to uh, Staff in Peril um, him and Hymn of the Faith. Uh, Braska is going to Disarming Brand twice to Break the Boss and uh, Water in Peril. And then Support from the Faith, which is going to also do a Modifier Boost for Evokers. Shira is going to entrust to Luna Freya. We're going to shift Luna Freya. We started in the base form for break immunity. I'll show you the gear at the end. So we're going to do the shifted LB and we're going to cap it with Biggs and Wedge. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so there is um, about 40 or 65% on turn one. Here's the threshold. Okay, so we're going to entrust to Luna Freya yet again. We're going to use Braska to break the boss a second time and imperil with a disarming brand. We're going to do base form of unit for a modifier boost. And that's pretty much it. And then we can just cap Luna Freya a second time. And there it is. 400,000, um, 400 million on the second clear. Um, the first one was, I forgot the amount of damage on the first pop. Um, two turn clear. Uh, you don't need any kind of defenses on your party whatsoever because we are the boss never gets a chance to attack. We literally threshold block him on turn one and then turn two we finish it off. So that is the clear. Um, so we did something like 700 on the first first it looks like. And yeah, you can use this to go through the ranks if you haven't beaten level 99 yet. Um, or you can use this to do a really quick, quick pearl farm. So we're going to go do it one more time before I show the gear. We're going to try to go quickly this time to... Um, See if I can speed it up. Let's see how long this takes. So I should should have started a timer. I didn't start one. So two minutes fifty on the video currently. Let's see how long it takes to kill this entirely. All right. So we entrust. We LB. We break break mod boost. We do do staff in peril mod boost. We shift an LB. Wait for all this to finish. Go ahead and do the LB. Oh, bad variance that time. Okay, so 676. And now we're going to entrust a second time. We're going to base form LB and we're going to disarming brand. Reload this. And let's go again. There we go. 453. So bad variance on the first roll, high variance on the second roll. But it's just global variance. It's not... Um, oh, so 250. We're at 350. So it took exactly one minute. Exactly one minute for, for a farm. Okay. So let's go ahead and show the gear and explain it. So, you know, it do, it's not a, not a budget run or anything. It does require some pretty specific things. Um, but if you have them, you know, you don't need chow. All right, so let's go ahead and show the gear and the party. So, uh, Nicole, completely naked. He does need EX2, so he can start with his LB filled. And um, he starts in the shift form, so you can just LB for the boost. Uh, Braska, all you need is one copy. Um, six star is fine, which you know you can evolve from just a single copy. Um, completely naked, all he does is uh, his, if I can ever find it, uh, he does support from the faith. This is a modifier boost for evocation LB damages. It does stack with Yuna, Yuna's LB, and it stacks with Yuna's STMR. Um, he also does disarming brand. 
which is an 85% Spirit Break and a 125 Water in Peril. So this is really good for uh, Luna Freya. It does cost Evocation Gauge to cast, but if you're using Luna Freya on the party, your Evocation Gauge starts at max anyway. Um, Yuna in the base form, starter in the base form, all she's using is her STMR. Uh, she dual casts that along with Staff and Peril on turn one, and then on turn two, because the boss does have um, stat boost after the threshold, she gets she does her base form LB, which is another 30x modifier boost for our Luna Freya Evoker. Um, Shira is just for entrusting. So paintbrush, call the wild, uh, luminous clothes. If you don't have the paintbrush, you can use um, Madame Adele to use her Magnus on Luna Freya on turns one and turn two. Uh, Biggs and Wedge are just um, multi-element tag chaining. You can replace them with any tag chainer you want. You know, it doesn't really matter. And then Luna Freya starts in the base form with Vermilion Flag equipped. This gives us break immunity for the preemptive break so she doesn't get her magic broken. Also, by her starting in the base form, it starts your Esper Gauge at maximum. And then Shift Form is um, geared really well for evocation damage. So double, you know, double Chronicle, double Ravenheart, uh, Chain Cap Clothing, LB Damage, Evocation stuff, uh, Ferris's card. Um, she's got a 270 Esper. 300 EVO and 3, 275 LB damage. Now I will mention if you just happen to have Chow and you'd rather do this clear anyway, um, I didn't want to use it because you know, it's a non-Chow clear, but if you have Chow, his 100% LB damage STMR is better because that actually caps out the LB damage of Luna Freya, so she does even more damage. But of course, for the example video, I didn't want to use you know Chow's gear in a no Chow clear. Anyway, you can very quickly and easily farm Red Pearls with this. Um, I'm actually going to be swapping to this for my farming because this is a lot quicker than my Chow version and it's a lot safer because you don't need any kind of defenses at all in the party. No evasion, no accuracy down, no resistances, nothing. We pop the boss turn one, pop him again turn two. End of fight. Um, but it does require quite, quite some powerful gear and powerful units to uh, support this. But you don't need Chow. See you next time.